What's up on my Fire Ass Crew? Today's video, I've seen in the forums and Facebook groups a time or two people changing everything out to LEDs. The question, how do I get to this? How do I change out the LEDs in this? Or change, put LEDs into it? It's going to be a quick, easy video today, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Cool? Cool. Yay! So first of all, I'll show you how this thing works. See the little gear shift arm indicator on neutral right there? We'll move this back a little bit. Let me get in here a little close. Uh, there you go. The glare killing it. So you can see your arm right there. So if you move the shifter up and down, you can see it move. Okay, simple enough. But what's moving is right here. Uh, get in here. See this right here? Because as you move the column, as you move the arm, it's rotating that whole column right there, therefore moving that little hand which is located, as I showed you, inside here. So, to get to the bulb inside here, you're going to have a screw right here. Come more of the way over here. And if I get to it, I can't see the viewfinder right there. Take those two screws out, get up to that screwdriver. And once you get those screws out, what you want to do is a finger here, finger here, and gently rock it. It feels like it's... It kind of feels like there's something still there holding it, but it's not. You'll see once you get it up. Rock it a little bit. Rock it a little bit as you pull. Snap. Because the screw, the screw goes in here and here. And they kind of spring outward a little bit, kind of holding it in place. Plus, you got this little vampire tooth looking thing right here that's also holding it in place. So, what do you got left? Right there is your bulb. Once you get the shift indicator cover thingy off, Push this back right here. You see how it moves. Just push it back a little bit to get it out of your way. You might be able to pull it out with your fingers. If it's a little bit snug, get you some needle nose. Grab a hold of the bulb. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not squeeze the bulb hard. Because you will break it. Then you've got another mess to deal with. Just right there. Whenever you pull, just kind of wiggle just real slightly. Pull on it. it slides right out of there. There it is. Then put it back in. You just put simply put your new bulb in, or if you want a replacement LED, whatever your fancy is. Now, when you go to put it back on, there's a little thing you need to watch out for. See this needle right here? See how it moves back and forth? That thing will mess with you. It'll come all the way out of there, even if you ain't careful. But the problem becomes is when it falls back on you like this, and you're trying to put this back in place, you're like, okay, that goes up inside there like that, and you're trying to put it back on. But look. The bulb stuck way up here, and that front little vampire tooth thing stuck way up there. It does not fit any longer. What happened? This little rascal right here will slide on down on you. And you can see right here, real close, you see that line right there? That's where it used to ride at. So you see? And right here on the bottom, see that little nub right there? Slide that in there and line it back up with that little slider thing right there. You can see the wear mark. All right? All right. Then we'll come over here. And it can be a bit deceiving, so because somebody might think, hey, that thing goes up inside there. No, it don't. It goes back here. So then you take and drop it right inside that groove there, bring it down, and it drops back on you a little bit. Take your little metal tab, get that on the side there, and that one inside there. Pull this forward, get it in front of the vampire tooth looking thing, and gently push down on it so you don't damage anything. And what you'll watch right there, your screw holes line up. Put your screws back in, and you're done. Okay, so some of y'all gonna call me out on it. I keep mentioning how that thing there slides back and forth. Let me move the camera so you guys can see what happens here. This being a tilt wheel, that's why. See? So there you go. That's why that moves back and forth. And also what we'll do later on is tear that column apart because well, that's a tilt column and this right here has got a standard column does not tilt. What we'll do is we'll tear this column apart so you can see down side there what's going on. This column right here is pretty solid. Uh, the one thing that I know I see a lot of people, what happens to a lot of people's columns is they get loose inside there. And there's a series of bolts and stuff like that you got tightened up. So what we'll do is we'll dig into that column one day and I'll show you what's inside there so you know what to look for, what to tighten up and all that kind of fun stuff. All right. Now, with Power Ass Crew, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you learned something from it. I know it was a short video, but it was a good video. Meaning that I gave you guys the detail of what to watch out for when you put that cover back on. Some people don't know how to take the cover off, like to replace that bulb if you want to put an LED in or if you want to leave the regular little incandescent in. 
So now you know how to take it off. When you go to put it back on, you know the trick to watch that little dial indicator moving on you. So you don't struggle with it. It's like, what am I doing wrong? So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit me with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave us cool comments down below. And I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace. Later, y'all.